Good morning. For the third snippet out of section 6.2, we're going to look at approximating with a tangent plane. Recall the equation we have that the tangent plane has the function evaluated at a point plus the partial with respect to x times the change in x plus the partial with respect to y times the change in y. If we only had one variable, it would be our familiar tangent line equation, but we've got a change in x and a change in y. Rather than doing the problem in the exercise, instead I'm going to look at a simpler mathematical problem. So I'm going to look at the function f of xy is equal to the square root of x times the square root of y near 4 comma 9. Now we can plug that in and see that f of 4 comma 9 is equal to 6. One of the nice things about this function is it's easy to compute the partial derivatives. So the partial with respect to x of f of x comma y is going to be the square root of y over 2 times the square root of x. And at our particular point, that turns into 3 fourths. Our partial with respect to y of xy is the square root of x over 2 times the square root of y which for our point is going to go to one-third. And so our tangent line equation, the tangent line of f at xy evaluated at this particular point is going to be three-fourths times x minus four plus one-third times y minus six plus 6. Now the reason we want to do that is close to this point we should have a good approximation. So I'd like to look at the tangent line approximation of, I'm going to look close to there. So I'm going to look at the point not 4, 9, but 5, comma 10. And that's going to be 3 fourths times 5 minus 4 plus 1 third. Let me correct up here. That should have been a 9, not a 6. 10 minus 9 plus 6, which is 3 fourths plus one-third plus six, which is approximately 7.0833. Oh, eight, three, three. Well, it turns out that f of five comma 10 is the square root of 50, which is 7.0716. That's a pretty straightforward, that's a pretty good approximation to it. And one of the things to notice is finding the square root of 50 by hand is fairly hard, but finding all of these values the value of the function, the value of the derivatives at that point, we had a nice point. So those are all easy to compute. So it was easy to compute the approximation, and it would have been much harder to compute the actual function by hand. If we're doing this in the real world, in the business world, there may be a case where evaluating, as I give always the famous example of someone who wants a function that's dealing with oil drilling, you can evaluate any point you want. It costs you $10 million to evaluate at a point. We'd like to be able to use this to make approximations based on information we have. Thank you. This concludes 
section 6.2.